We're going to do our Bible verse now, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, see, crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap. All right, you know these, okay? We're going to do this one. John. John. One, three. three. All days were by him. Were made. Say made. Made. By him. Made. Very good. We gonna work on it, all right? Now you tell me what's on the picture. A creature. A creature. Show daddy the picture. I created the trees, I created mm -hmm. the girls, I created the boys. That's right. Good Peter. job. All right, let's say it again, okay? Ready? See, this is John. One. No, this is John. Say John. One, three. All things by his Say May. Made by him. Very good. Very good. All right. And here's the picture. Remember that little boy? All right. Let's say it. Psalms, Psalms 18, 18 30. 30. Very good. As, As for God, God his, his way perfect. is perfect. Good job. She got it! Almost! And this one is... Jesus, what, what? All things... No, in... In the beginning. Uh-huh. I credit the heaven and the earth. Good job! Now tell me everything he created. I created... The water created the grass. It created the trees. It created some the green water. Very good. You know this one all by heart. And you're getting better at saying beginning. Beginning's a hard word, isn't it? Hi, my name is Jessica, and this is J and J Family Vlogs. And this video is going to be strictly about uh, the Bible memory cards that we have for our homeschool curriculum. And um, there are other videos that we're talking about, um, about our homeschool curriculum, and we'll leave the link down below for those if you'd like to check those out. But this one's going to be just about our Bible memory cards. First, I want to uh, just say that these are the small ones. And these were like three or four dollars or something like that. But these are the small ones, and they come in two sizes this size and um, a bigger size and um, I really don't know the size but we wanted to get the smaller one because it'd be easier to uh, store in our cabinets and everything so we got the smaller size and it comes with 26 illustrated Bible verses and they are front and back to be used for each and um, the first one it um, it talks about a note to the teacher and parent, see the back, and it just briefly says Bible memory picture cards teach children ages 2 to 4 verses using pictures for easy learning and review. And um, what you and it gives you the steps on how to use it. Like first say the whole verse, then the reference. And then um, after you read the verse throughout the first time, explain to the children what the verse means and stuff. It kind of starts like a, a dialogue and you can talk to your children about it. And then what really helps them memorize it is the repeat of the verse. And it explains um, the rest about that. Um, and then later on reviewing and letting them hold up the pictures and stuff like that. So... But that's um, the little little bit they have in the back. And what I do um, is a little bit different than that. It, um, I, I first hold up the picture like this. And then I tell them Genesis 1-1. Instead of doing the verse, the, the verse first, I say Genesis 1-1 and then the verse. And then I say Genesis 1-1 again, you know, sometimes. 
And, um, it is, and it works really well too that way. So Sarah will repeat after me the first couple of times and it did not take long for Sarah to learn this verse, Genesis 1-1. And I not only show them the front, but I also show her the back like this. And um, just so that she knows and can be familiar with the way the words look and the way the numbers look and the way the verses look. So I do an equal part of both the picture and the verse. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, this is just what I do personally. And it took her two weeks, I believe, to, to memorize Genesis 1-1. They come all uh, fully colored and fully illustrated, but not all of them are for the same age. This one is um, the first card, card one. It says it right there, and then um, it says it underneath the verse that um, is for ages two, three, and four. But some are not for two. Some are for three and fours. So, for an example... The um, card two, underneath the verse, it says it's for threes and fours. I still present this to Sarah. I don't, I, I don't worry about it if she doesn't remember it as well as the other ones or if she gets them mixed up. I, I really don't, I really don't put this in a priority or in a, in, or in anything really because it's not really her age appropriate at least that's what it says here but um so if you if you don't want her to miss out on these cards if you don't want your child your two-year-old to miss out on these cards because it says threes and fours and not twos you can still present it to them you can still talk about it you can still talk about the picture it doesn't take long maybe a minute or two and um and now fly by when the children start talking so, uh, I still presented this to Sarah, and she still remembered it. So, um, I, it might be because of the number of cards that are back-to-back. -back. Like, at one point, we had all three of them. Maybe that's why they did that, because I felt maybe this verse was a lot easier than the Genesis verse, because it's shorter. Maybe. I don't know. But I still presented it to her, and if she remembered it, good. If she didn't, then no big deal. We have another year until she's three to do it. So, um, so that's that part that I do different. I still present the two, the three and four year old ones, and um, I just don't make it into a stressful big deal about it because we can always try it again next year. Lastly, what we do is we do review them in like, like we're on week seven of the homeschool curriculum and for the first five or so weeks we did just card one, two, and three. And now that we're going into week seven, we are taking away card one and we're not doing it as often. So uh, we'll take it away and we'll, we'll just focus on uh, maybe this, these two. And these two are three and four year olds and Sarah's two, but I still do it. And I just, like, like I said before, I just don't make it into a, okay, this is for two year olds, you have to do this. I just present it to her and if she, if it clicks, it clicks. And, um, and then we review all of them may, uh, at the end of the week. We still review all of them at the end of the week. So, um, so we're, we'll still touch on the ones that we have done, but spend a little bit more time on the ones that are somewhat new than the ones that we have been using. And, um, and then I guess we'll um, be doing that from uh, the time all the way to card 26. And this, this is the last card. And hopefully by the end of the year, she will be able to tell me all of these verses, which would be great. This is how we use our Bible memory card from Abeka. And if you have any comments or hacks or... Um, tips on how you use your Bible memory card, please leave it in a comment below. I'll definitely 
try and use it. Anything to help improve your Bible memory verses is always a good thing. So I hope you guys liked it and leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.